welcome back we are going to do max montessori and i had asked you to make the materials of card and bead golden bead material what did you call them as golden bead dynamic material okay dynamic part okay we are going to do with the material and uh, this game is going to be called as change game you already know how to arrange ones and tens right that we are not going to do we don't need this we are going to do change game for change game you in your mat you need not do any arrangement okay everything can be in its box itself okay so this time not much elaborate thing just with your box you can have things in your box but try and do it on a mat then for this uh, corona sake what i have done i have put this i made this mat okay it's called the decimal mat okay those of you who are watching the m1 children you would have noticed them you uh, miss saundarya showing it to them this is just for illustration sake that we have kept if you want you can make it otherwise you don't need this also okay only thing is i i just want to make sure that all the ones should be in this column all the tens can be arranged here all the hundreds can be arranged here and all the thousands can be arranged here just for arrangement sake i have kept it here you can do even without it for your understanding sake only i have made this thing and generally when i am going to do the change game i don't need a tray okay but just for neatness sake so that doesn't roll off your your camera view is very limited right for that sake i'm just going to put everything into the tray you can put all the uh, material on the mat itself you don't need tray also so you don't need tray you don't need decimal mat also i'm using it because we are having a situation like corona and the view is limited konjama da namakku inda camera la kaamikka mudiyum ana ellame namma panniduvom seriya shall we get started come when you are going to do your change game you have to observe this very carefully that is the arrangement of these boxes ones tens hundreds and thousands see how i have placed it in the order of ones tens hundreds thousand ide order la da irukonu i cannot keep it like this and all no not like this this order you have to remember very well because when you write you will be writing your ones on this side then comes tens then come hundred one then comes thousand so for that visual capture you have to make sure that you keep all the bead material in this order only even if you are making arrangement also you have to make sure this order ones tens hundred thousand is strictly observed okay and that's your card material i have this card material up to 9000 okay okay now let's get started with the change game in change game what do i do i can start with anything i'm going to start putting some thousands let me remove this how much ever you want you put that's your choice okay then you take hundreds how much ever you want to take you put see what i am doing i am just dropping it like that okay then i am taking tens mm so much fun no then this is why i have used a tray you can do it on mat also no problem then i am going in the same way i am going to put ones shall i put it because i am using a tray i am putting it okay some more some more some more okay what is miss juno doing she is put everything here and there okay now my now you tell me how much is there in this how much is there in this you can't tell no just like that you can't tell but you can count is it not that's what is numbers are numbers will be chaotic like this but you can count and find out 
So for that what you should do? You have to first put things in its place. <coughs> Shall we start? Which one do you want to start with? Let's remove these one. Shall we arrange the hundreds? Cup. I'm going to take the hundreds and keep it in the hundreds place. See? Hundred. I'm going to keep. All that are hundreds, I will keep it here. Now you'll see that after I move them one by one, everything will look very orderly. The kind of mess that I've made here, I can also keep some here, no problem. Okay. Preferably we'll keep it, we'll stack it up like this. So many hundreds. Is it not? Then I have so many thousands. This is coming in the view or is it going out of the view? Okay. So many thousands. Now because this is not seen very clearly, I will put the thousand here. But still it is in the line of thousands only. So in this line you have thousand, this line you have hundreds. Now I am going to keep all the tens here. Tens alarm in give a church. You are going to enjoy this, you know. So when you are sitting with your mommy and daddy, you can show them how you can count. Tens are here. Next I am going to keep all the ones. So many ones I have. I will just put them here. If you want, you can use one tiny cup like this. Okay. Now we are going to do the counting. You see, all that mess and chaos which was there in this, how beautifully we got it, sorted it out. Fine. Now we are going to do the counting. Now when we do the counting, all what you have to remember is, when you have made 9 ones, okay, the next number will be 10, is it not? So whenever you reach a 10 in this hierarchy, you exchange it with 1 from this side, okay? But not from here, from this box you are going to exchange, okay? Shall we start? You can start from any place. You can even start thousand or you can start tens anywhere. But just for clarity's sake, we'll start from ones. Okay. Let's start. Count. For your sake, I'll put it into the cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have 10 beads in it. This is also a 10. Is it not? So what we will do? We will exchange this. That's why this is called a change game. We are going to change this. Give this 10 and take another 10. There is your 10. I am going to put these into this. And bring the 10 here. Some more left. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 beads in this. I am going to put it here. Because I give here, I take one. You give and take. Give and take. This is just 2. This doesn't sum up to 10, no? Only if it is 10, you can do exchange. Can I exchange for 2? No. So this will remain 2. Now we'll go to the next section, tens. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten in this. I'm going to exchange it for the card of 10. See, it comes exactly the same. Is it right? So, 
the tens that I counted, 10 tens are 100, is it not? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, I am going to exchange it for the 100 card. So, give, take. Again, 1 or let's count as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Exchange. Give it. Take one. When I take, where do I put it? Should I keep it here or in that hundreds? It has to be here only. Yeah. Now I have here just one ten. Can I exchange this? No. Only if I get a hundred I can exchange, right? So this one sits here. Let's count the hundreds now. Hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds is also called as 1000. Now what we will do? Give and take. So I am going to give this and from the thousands box I am going to take. See? Are they same same? Same same. So I am going to give this and take this. Where will I keep it? In the thousands column. More are left. Let's continue. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. 1000. So, give this and take a thousand. Give, take. <coughs> I am putting it in the thousands column. Continue. 100, 200, 300, 400. That's all. I don't have ten hundreds or I don't have a thousand. So, I am putting it back here. We can't exchange it. Thousand exchange uh, Then what about this? This you don't have to do any exchange. We have to just count. So we are done. Okay. Let's count how many thousands are there. 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. You have with us 7000. Okay. So, I am going to keep it back here. Remember the number 7000. Okay, 7000. So, there are 7000 in this. Now, we will have to represent it in the card. That is all. How many ones are there? Two ones. How many tens are there? 110. How many hundreds are there? We counted 400, right? Let's confirm 100, 200, 300, 400. Let's take 400. And how many thousands? 7000s were there. 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. Seven thousand. Now what we do? Put them together. Slide it. What do you get? Seven thousand four hundred one tens and two. Or you read it as one ten and two is called as twelve. So you read it as seven thousand four hundred and twelve. You get it? That is your change game. Is it interesting? All what you have to remember is when you have 10 of units, exchange it for 110. 
when you have 10 of 10s exchange it for 100 when you have 10 hundreds exchange it for 1000 after you've done all these things you just show the same numbers with your number cards here and read it 7412 that is all so how is it interesting are you all ready shall we do the change game very good because we already knew how to earlier we were doing this thing of fetching numbers i will tell bring me 500s bring me 4000 give me 200 give me five tens or three units is it not now you all have come across it and you have the material with you this much you must be able to do okay so this is your practice and you have to keep practicing this for the next two weeks at least after that we will start arithmetic operations like addition subtraction and all and be a little more interesting very interesting but when you're going to do a addition and subtraction you will have to bring both mommy and daddy into this okay this one you can do alone even if your mommy is not there you can do on your own itself nobody needed just jenna just tishan just nishman just Anne, just diksha just varun nobody when we're going to do addition subtraction then you have to bring mommy and daddy also into it okay not the little brothers and all mommy and daddy only have to come into this okay and you will tell them what to do and share and share with you how to do it is this interesting for you the change game will you start doing okay in change game that is all you have to do put all the materials that you want and then start segregating them and count it will you do it okay watch the video one more time if you are not clear watch how you begin take everything put together use a tray if you want to like a basket kind of tray so that it's not too messy your beads shouldn't roll off right and at school you know that if we if i have 45 beads in this there will be 45 only and every day miss juno will count it in the evening before after you all go i will count and make sure that there is 45 even if one bead goes missing me uh, miss uh, saranya and uh, lakshmi aunty will go searching for that one uh, unit okay so you have to be very careful with your material after you use your material put them back in its place very important will you all put it back in its place okay you can have them inside a carton okay put it inside a uh, box carton and whenever you're going to work bring it out one by one use a mat so that it remains inside the everything is inside the mat will you all do it sure okay watch the video one more time if you are doubtful about how to begin put everything together segregate it if you want you can make the green decimal mat okay you can get it on a chart done on a chart uh, green is a better color because it you can see it out more clearly okay okay children bye bye enjoy your change game see you all in another video until then tata -ta.